Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day and welcome to the channel. So about a year ago I finished this cart and pretty quickly after finishing it, I did upgrade the batteries to a lithium battery set from bigbattery.com. And I never got around to posting a video on the install of those batteries. So I'll kind of show you, um, you know, what comes with the batteries and the install on them. And then we're actually gonna do a range test with them to see how they're holding up after a year. Now originally when I did buy the batteries, I bought just the three battery kit, which would be 90 amp hours. And shortly after I did upgrade and add one more battery. So I am running four of the big battery Eagles for 120 total amp hours uh, in this cart. So right now I'll roll some footage of a little over a year ago when I got the batteries and then we'll uh, get, get to a range test. I've been working on this EasyGo TXT and today I'm gonna be doing one pretty much final major upgrade to it that I really wasn't planning on doing and that has to do with the batteries. Now when I originally bought this cart, uh, it had six brand new lead acid batteries that had been converted to 48 volt and the batteries are still brand new. I put about 50 miles in the cart since finishing it other than the seat which is still being back which is still back ordered um, and I've noticed a few shortcomings of these batteries that are taken away from what I really wanted to do with this cart and the purpose of it and so my range has been pretty decent. I've been 17 to 20 miles going 30 miles an hour uh, but the problem is if I go for a stretch of a mile or two at full throttle, the, all of a sudden the, the batteries just can't keep up with the output or what the demand of the motor and the uh, controller is. So all of a sudden the acceleration starts to go way down, the top speed goes way down, and if I park for a couple of minutes, then it's all back to normal and I can go 30 miles an hour again. Um, I don't need to go faster, I just wanna be able to hold that consistent speed for longer. So my thought is to upgrade the batteries to lithium and see if that improves just the, uh, the distance that I can go and, and how long I can sustain that top speed for. So as you can see, these are all brand new batteries. They work great, um, but I also am not running a stock controller or motor. So the demand is much higher than what these were intended for originally. Uh, all the water is, is full to the top on these. So that's not the issue that I'm having. It's just the output on them and make sure when you're gonna be working on the electrical stuff, you tur turn it into the tow position first, just so you don't have any issues. So for the batteries, I ended up going with a setup from bigbattery.com. Uh, this is not sponsored by them whatsoever. I didn't get any type of discount from them uh, for putting these in a video or anything like that. Just based off, off of some research and the specs on these batteries, they fit what I needed at the price point that I was looking for. I went with their three battery Eagle setup, which should give me uh, according to their site, 240 amps of continuous output and 500, or sorry, 270 amps of continuous output and 540 amps of peak output for six seconds. Should be more than enough for what I need it uh, to be. And the three batteries also gives me 90 amp hours. Uh, I can also have the ability to add on to this if I want to. I can hold up to six batteries. I only have three uh, with this setup that I have. So I could go up to 180 amp hours if I wanted to. So in this kit, uh, there's three of these batteries right here, and then the connector, and you've got your mounting hardware right here, and this just mounts in the stock battery tray. Uh, shouldn't be any modifications needed. And then also with this kit, I got the higher output charger, and uh, there's a, a bus bar in here to connect everything through. And then this, I believe, to uh, connect the charger to everything so you don't have to unplug all the batteries to then plug the charger in. So let's unbox all these and get them put in the cart and see if we can get it, uh, get it all set up. All right, so I've got the batteries fully charged up. The resting voltage is right at 52.3 to, or sorry, 53.2 to 53.4. Um, it does go up a little bit higher, but once it's done charging, it does lower a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a range test with these. They're 90 amp hour, we'll see what they are. Supposedly two of them is equal to lead acid. I was getting 17 to 20 miles of range with my lead acid with this same Navitas 600 watt or 600 amp five uh, kilowatt setup. Uh, to be testing the range, I've got this Stryker uh, GPS from tra uh, Trail Tech, or not really a GPS, uh, 
uh, basically does the time or the speed and distance based on a wheel sensor calibrated to the size of the tire. Um, I have run a few cycles through the batteries just so that they're all balanced before doing this range test. Because uh, if, if you have one that's a little bit off, then it could cause some problems. But um, I won't be recording a ton of it because it is nighttime right now. Uh, it's finally not 106 degrees out. So we're going to get going. I'll have a couple of pauses in between and then we'll see how far we can get. So again, I am running four of the Big Rider Eagles, not the three that I just showed uh, that I originally had purchased. Uh, so I have 120 total amp hours in this. The settings that I'll be using for the range test on this, I'll have the, the regeneration set at the recommended setting from Navitas, the acceleration set at the recommended setting, but the top speed I'm actually gonna have set at the maximum setting because when I normally am driving this on the road, I have the top speed set at max so that I'm running around 35 miles an hour and not just holding up traffic and constantly having to move out of the way. Um, but yeah, we'll get going with the range test and then I'll give you my opinion on this big battery set that I've had for over a year now. All right, so I've got the trip reset. We're at zero. Uh, speed, average speed and top speed are also reset. Uh, I am Since I am running this at night, I will have headlights on. Uh, I am going to be running music the entire time. So that'll obviously hurt range a little bit. But again, that's typically how I'm going to be driving the cart anyways. <laughs> Just past 10 miles, sitting at 52.3 volts. Um, let's see here. We're averaging, we're at max speed of 36, averaging 28.1. So definitely covers some ground pretty quickly. Um, we'll, uh, we'll keep going. All right, so now we're at just under 23 miles, 51.6 volts. Let's see, we're 
Still top speed of 36, average of 27.9, so just a hair under. Um, but still going pretty strong. All right, so just a hair over 30 miles with uh, 49.8 volts left. Um, or not left, just at uh, sitting at 49.9 volts. Uh, 36 still at the top, 27 average. Uh, we're definitely, we've lost about three miles an hour on the top end. We're hovering right around 31 to 32 miles an hour at top. Uh, and acceleration's definitely dropped a bit, but uh, still going pretty strong. Alright, so I ended up running out of battery in the middle of the street, um, or hitting low voltage cutoff. I got to 31.67 miles, uh, driving pretty flat out most of the time, uh, top speed of 36, average of 25.7. That average dropped about a mile and a half uh, per hour in the last about half mile because I was going five miles an hour just trying to get as close to home as I could. Um, see if it'll... Yeah, so sitting at 45.9 volts. Um, but the second I hit the gas, it just kind of cuts off. All right, so it's been a few days since I did the range test. The cart's all back and charged up again. Um, as you were able to see, I was able, I went 31.67 miles or something like that. Um, a lot as far as I was hoping to get, but also I was running this at pretty, that, that's pretty much going to be the minimum range that I can make on this, unless you're throwing a lot of elevation changes or something into it. But I was running flat out, averaging around 27 miles an hour. Um, also, I was running music the entire time. I had lights running the entire time. And so I think 31 or a little over 31 miles is pretty good on this test. I'm sure I could get upwards of 40 if I had all the settings turned at recommended or I had the max speed set at 20. But that's not how I'm normally going to drive this. I'm normally going to drive this with the top speed maxed out. Um, so I'm pretty happy with the results when I had just the three in, I did a range test and I got around 24 to 26 miles on that, um, which was still good. But again, you know, I'm, I'm running it at pretty much full speed, uh, the entire time. So as far as my feelings on these batteries uh, from big battery, uh, over the last year and my experience with them, I honestly can't say anything bad about them. Um, again, I'm not being paid to say that I did buy these with my own money. And it's a lot of money. It's a big investment to put lithium into a golf cart. And I honestly can't complain about anything. The output of these batteries is way more than this cart can even handle. Um, it, it, if I turn it up just a little bit, it wheelies um, without even trying. So it's a really awesome setup. I love that you can add on to it if you want to later on. I think what you get for the price versus other batteries that are out there is at least as comparable but most likely better in my opinion. 
I did quite a bit of research before buying them and I definitely would do it all over again. Uh, so if there's something you're interested in doing and Big Battery is one of those that you've looked at, uh, I personally would recommend it. I've had no issues. But hopefully this video will help your decision on that. I'll also do a few more range tests. I want to do one with the stock, a completely stock controller motor setup uh, just to see what the range difference would be. And also kind of messing around with a few things, maybe setting it at like a max of 25 miles an hour or something. Um, so if you're interested in seeing any of that, make sure to check out some videos here in the future and, uh, and hope to see you guys again soon.